Hello, everyone. everyone. Oh, God. Okay. No, no. Ready, redo. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Hello, everyone. And <laughs> welcome. That was close enough. Yeah. And welcome back uh, to the channel. I'm excited about this one, That's y'all. right. So this is this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode. Um, and if you notice right now, actually, it looks like everything is pretty much invisible on my screen. Ash, we have Ash over here. Uh, that's right. We have, <laughs> we have a couple more of our friends all scattered around on the server right now. Because today, Ash, what are we doing? It's a great day. It's a great We're day. We're judging people hardcore. Right. So we started a build contest, a weekly build contest on our uh, Vanilla Plus server that we've been playing on. Yep. Um, and this week's theme was campsite. And who thought of that great theme? I, that was you. I know. That was, that was, that was you. That was a good you one, let me it, was a, it was a good one. So we're actually going to be judging our friends' um, builds. Creative abilities. That's right. We have a whole rubric, which I'll put up What's on screen. What's on the rubric? Uh, well, I will put it up, but I guess for our reference. Um, you didn't even tell me what's on it, so it's good to know. Well, we are judging them based on their creativity, cool. their originality, mm. their aesthetics, and their technical skill. All right, all right. So I know nothing about technical skill. Well, that's help me well, out. yeah. We'll 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 help with that. And right. each each category can earn a total of ten points. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of points. It is a lot of points. So in total, a, a perfect build would be forty points. All right. Mm. So we will we will see how this goes. Do you have a formula in your spreadsheet? Uh, nope, nope, we're just gonna write some numbers hmm. and it's gonna be fine. Inefficient. Um, so, for for the very first build we're gonna be looking at today, uh, it's actually, uh, Nico's build. Our best friend! So let's just bring him in here. Yeah, hey, what's up? Hey, alright, so, Nico, uh, we, we have come, we've flown from far, uh, to, to see your campsite from build. Europe. You are, you're the first one, yeah, we actually came from Europe. Wow, you're up. Yeah. We don't have COVID there. No. Oh, so <laughs> big fancy. Uh, go go ahead and just kind of walk us through. We're at your sign right now. Um, in your. In you're your at my sign. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So I kind of wanted an inspired. Um, I don't know if it's nighttime, but an inspired like night build. Um, kind of spooky campfire. I took camp Ooh. as like a spooky campfire. I didn't have time to make YMCA signs, but I was gonna make it a YMCA <laughs> campsite. So I went to the YMCA campsite when I was younger. Um, oh, so it kind of, uh, yeah, so I kind of went for like a, uh, a little bit like of a wilderness. So there's some wild horses around. So I tried to push them over to my campsite. <laughs> the idea was just kind of like wild animals. We don't really have like squirrels. So I thought the horses were like the, the most realistic in that area. Uh, there's a campfire in the middle. Yep. And then you can see some cobwebs, and then I put some like skeleton heads. Yeah, it's really atmospheric. There's even leaf like piles on the ground, I noticed. Yeah, I made some leaf piles, there grew some trees, and I put a little uh, outhouse also. Oh, yeah, look at this. I saw that. that was funny. Oh, and there he is. Hi. Farmer Titan Slayer Nico, uh, <laughs> currently chilling in his outhouse. Well, I mean, this is fantastic. Now, I actually, I didn't mention this before, but there were bonus points awarded if people were able to wrangle foxes into their campsite. You didn't even tell me that. No, it was it was very, very last minute uh, and very bonus, um, which it looks like Nico doesn't have here. But the no. aesthetic, like, bring together of the paths and the leaf piles. Is he getting for horses? This looks, no, unfortunately not, not in this build. Every build has a different unique kind of bonus point that you can get. Mm. Um, but the one requirement that we have to make sure we look for is a campfire. That was the one requirement was it actually, for every build. I am not it's, in here with the rules. That is okay. Nico does have a campfire. Uh, it's very beautifully done. The atmosphere looks fantastic. Um, and I, I think this is great. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I will say, say, I had uh, roasted meat, but it got cooked before you got here. Oh, on the <laughs> campfire. <laughs> uh, That's a good one. That's that good. is a-okay. Uh, all right, well, thank you very much, Nico, for showing us this build. Yeah, good shit. Um, we yeah, will thanks for coming to my... The, uh, the verdict at the end. Thanks for coming to my crib. MTV. All right, no problem. Connor. Hey. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. So, oh, are you actually? <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, we are at your lovely, lovely place, <laughs> we actually um, which doing looks this very idea? different to Nico's. Actually, uh, would, you, would you care to tell us and the viewers a, a little explanation of, of the GM that you put here? Yes. Um, well, you know, GM Genji Main, of course. Um, oh, right. Yes. Yes. And uh, so. I mean, I'm a Genji main. Oh, okay. um, if yeah. you didn't know, no, I, right. I play Genji. To Genji yep. Of course, yes. Um, and uh, yeah, so GM. I mean, Genji main, and right. that is campfire because me. All right, your moves are fire as a Genji. Yep, there it is. 
Okay. Um, well, you know what? It's certainly original. Uh, Thank it's, you. We haven't seen anything like this yet. Um, I, I don't know if I'd call it a campsite, but, you know, you use torches, which at least provides light and warmth. Um, yep. so, uh, so thank you for walking us through that. Uh, we're we're yep. gonna... Oh. oh. And the uh, death, I guess, makes it authentic. I guess. Yep, exactly. Um, it's now a graveyard with a campfire. Water? All right. And a campsite. Yep, well, and so the water is actually gonna envelop my body. Oh, um, right. We'll see this in a second. And, um, yeah. Well, thank you for that explanation, Connor. We will, we will judge you next. Okay, thank you. Uh, you're well, just you. crouching. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, we oh. are here to judge your build. Ah. So, where are you? Uh, why don't you... I'm, I'm looking at you, don't worry. Okay. Uh, why don't you explain to us and the viewers what it is you built here? We, we just came from Connor's original build, so uh, uh, let's see what you got. Well, I was actually uh, listening to a podcast recently that had camping in it. So, oh, yeah. you know, drew some inspirations there. And, you know, camping, you got tents, a fire... You know, a little swimming hole. Who doesn't like a swimming that hole? That looks nice. So a little I swimming hole with some lily pads. That's quite yeah, nice. lily pads. Yeah. Yeah. No water feature. I think only one other uh, one one other place has a water feature yes. at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, and then the the main part of this is the archery oh. contest. Oh, should I should I grab a bow? Yeah, gl grab a bow. Uh, okay. You stand on this line of path right here. I'll, I'll hop into creative real quick. Yep. Um, I do have my my pit bull skin. Yeah, Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide himself. Uh, okay. Yeah. And you just want to uh, shoot the shoot the target? Yeah, shoot the target. Uh, for demonstration, if you shoot towards the outside first. Oh. Okay. So as you see, you got second row. So you got two of these. Whoa. If you get, if you get a bullseye, <gasps> get the third one. All three points. Yeah. That's cool. And if I take the arrows. Um, no, no, uh, I didn't have enough, uh, slime balls for sticky pistons, you see. That's understandable. So I, I have to manually reset this. Uh, well, that's quite impressive that, yeah, that you I can actually that. score points, uh, in the archery yeah. range, which is very cool for a campsite, right? Yeah. Um, and of course you have the tree features, you have the grass, you actually did incorporate the campfire. I love the tents. The tents are fantastic, yeah. let me tell you, they look Oh yeah, great. definitely an original Lamping design. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I do love the stick stacks around the side. I think. Yeah, yeah. No, you gotta have fuel for the fire. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Um, so we we definitely love that. Uh, anything else you want to say about your design? Um, no, that's. But the major thing was the archery and the water feature that really set it apart. You sit you sit on logs. Yeah. No, I, I really. Like uh, it. I I will say though, uh, for for next time for technical skill, uh, you can actually make stairs that you can sit on if you right click on them. Yeah, I knew that. They just didn't really fit with like the aesthetic. You know, I wanted I wanted to be I wanted to be rough hewn. You know. Uh, no, fair fair point. I see you're actually cooking rotten flesh here. An interesting. Uh, that was that was Nico. Just uh -huh. kidding. We might have to deduct a few points for Wait, that. Wait, isn't sabotage? Uh, well, that... kicking someone out. I don't. Well, yeah. I didn't. Did Nico do it? <laughs> well. Nico, Nico did just run over. Right, we may have to run an investigation. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. Yeah. Right, well, uh, thank yeah. You, thank you so much, yeah. Magoo. Thanks, uh, we'll, Magoo. We'll get to the judging and let yeah. you know how you did. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> you want to do Tyler's? Well, well, he's he's not here, unfortunately. Yeah. You wanna... So this is cute. Um, it's underground, very hobbit. -like. It is very hobbit-like. Actually, it's very small. Um, very cute. It does have a campfire, so it does fit that bill. Um, which is very nice. Uh, creative? He's got a couple points for creativity there. I definitely did not go outside the box. Um, I, oh, I don't know, what are you thinking? Like, four? Yeah. Okay. Um, for originality, it certainly is original. Um, I don't think we've had anyone kind of go the underground. I mean, it is a tent when you think about it. Like, look at it from the outside. Yeah, it's actually thought, a little yeah. wooden tent. I wish it was bigger. Me I too. I wanted it to surprise me. That's I think I, I think this this probably gives him a, a six on the originality scale. Yeah, I give it to him. That was a whole open market that, you know, people didn't do. They could have built down. We didn't say you couldn't. True. Pretty cool. Um, aesthetics, unfortunately, pretty low. Yeah. Um, it's very cute and Maybe novel. A three? Yeah, I, I would give it a three. It is cute for what it is. It just didn't really fill out the space a lot. 
technical skill, very low, yeah. unfortunately. This could be put together I could really also quickly. Do this, so I think we should give it a zero. I think at least a one. You did go underground and make half blocks, which is. Oh, they're you know, half blocks? Yeah, you have to crouch to get in there. Go well, forward. actually, here, I'll, I'll, I'm going to show you. I can show you what you have to do. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this. So if you're on the ground, you actually have to stand at the trap door, and it brings you into a crawl that you actually oh. have to get into. Okay, so. that's fine. So that is, I mean, it's pretty cool, right? How hard but, is that to do? Not hard, it's just a trapdoor thing. So like a two? Yeah, I'd say like a, like a two, yeah. Okay. Hello? My friend. Uh, Let's go. Raiden. All right, so let's, uh, let's take a look at your build next, shall we? All right, I'm at my build. Uh, all right, so let's just get back into spectator mode here. So, uh, which one was yours? Uh, ah, yes, Raiden. Okay, so well, it's certainly the most compact we've seen. Do you wanna? Do you wanna give us a little rundown? Yeah, are you are you spectating me? Uh, we're not spectating you. We're at the sign that says Raiden with a chest and a campfire. No, that's that's. You should spectate me. I'm at my build. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, it's very similar to Nico's, actually, isn't it? Yeah, he copied my design. Oh, did he? Uh, oh, I see. Okay. I'd like to file an official complaint as well. Okay. Yeah. No, we are we are taking those. We That's are. okay. Yeah. I actually, there's uh, an ongoing investigation. I think he sabotaged Magoo's build. So. Uh, yeah. He he told me he was just trying to figure out if you could cook rotten flesh on a campfire. To be okay. honest. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> that's good to know. All right. Well, we'll definitely take that into account. Um, but from the sign that does say you, you know, it's it's. Uh, it's it's nice and compact. Um, we're we're definitely gonna have to investigate Nico's uh, Nico's treachery for you though. Yeah, yeah. Mine had a horse and his didn't, but that's fair. I, I say had because I just you know, we just got rid of it. But anyways. Oh, I see. Um, okay, so uh, I mean, it is compact, I guess. Um, but if we want to take a quick look, I mean. <laughs> He did say, I think he cut off a little bit, but he did say that it was a campsite, which he put into kind of a one-block thing, nudge. which is why he put all these eyes in here. Um, so we, we will throw up the scores uh, for this one um, at the end, but I, I mean, it's original, to say the least, you know? Aesthetic, maybe not so much. I don't know, I kind of like it. Minimalist? It is, it is definitely minimalist. Um, I'm here for it. Yeah. All right, so... Moving on to Zoe's. All right. Uh, now we didn't. Uh, Zoe is not around, unfortunately, to um, to uh, debut this one. But just look at. I mean, from what we're looking at, this looks look fantastic. The A walkway. The lantern is gorgeous. These flowers in. you can't get from around here. Really? Not to mention all of these berry bushes. There's a oh, whole no, no, bunch no. of different Let's berries. Let's talk about this fire area. Oh, she made like a little bonfire. Oh, this oh, is fantastic. Nice fire pit. And exactly what my, I'm what pretty my sure if I like. go to like, creative mode. This is beautiful. And I was just talking about how I don't want to sit on a log. I want to sit on oh. a bench. <gasps> yeah, I, I may have uh, may how could you? a little bit. Uh, you can sit on them. It, it takes a little bit to, I guess, get on it. But I can sit on the slabs, which is very, very nice. I, I love that feature. That's a really good feature. Yeah. Oh, did you see what's out yeah, there? Yeah, it looks like she actually made a hammock, which is very original. That's we have not really seen cool. that yet. Um, which is, I, I mean, really like aesthetically, that. this is just gorgeous. And not to mention, I mean, she has this cool little tent. tent. And it's um, for all seasons. She also has a little fruit message inside that says, hi. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. So, 100% hi, Zoe. Well, this this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, big fan. I think this big, is fantastic. Big, big fan. Uh, technically, maybe not as high as some of the other ones we've know. seen, but as for originality and I'm, aesthetics... I'm gonna say, I'm super biased, because this is one I want my backyard to look like. They are up there. But last but not least, we have Fred and Merle. So, Fred did say that this would, uh, this would speak to its... speak for itself. Um... I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. Uh, he's got... I think there's a larger ooh, meaning he's got a, it. got a dump truck, uh, for sure. Oh, I've been, I've been hooked. Oh, jeez. Um... There we go. Um, yeah, there might be. It is made out of diamonds from survival mode, though, which uh, pretty cool. quite difficult to get more than two stacks of diamonds to make this kind of thing. Anatomically correct. That's, that's something. It does have a campfire. I do wish it was a little more hench, to be completely honest. Mm. Um, it is upside <laughs> I can't. I mean, what are we looking at? What? Art. This is art. It is modern art. It is, it is modern art. And you know what? They get, they they deserve the scores they get. I I think is I think is yeah, I uh, so. technically maybe high up there. Aesthetically, 
I mean, it is made out of diamonds, okay. so. Okay, so this, I mean, it's looking to be, this is looking to be an incredibly close match. Uh, should we, should we, I think we've calculated, though, yes, uh, of, yes, of yes, what, yes. We've, what we've got with all the scores that they've been able to see on screen. So should we go and tell our friends what the Let's verdict tell is? Them. Oh. All right. Yeah. Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, so that I'm was back. a fantastic uh, build contest. Yeah, it was a great start, y'all. For the for the very first start, um, and I will say, with all of our categories, it was actually a lot closer than we thought. It was really close. I'm, I'm I know I won't. By. Don't worry. Um, I, I will. I <laughs> I've I've already. Can I'm, you wait before? Can you teleport me again? <laughs> oh yes, of course, Connor. You can teleport I, him to me. I've 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 conceded to uh, Fred already. Can you teleport me to my uh, <laughs> dead body? No, I'll walk you there. So, uh, I am going to give out all of the scores right now, so you can all hear them. Um, and if you want me to break down your specific category, all I will of do them that as well. Are just the best ones. No, we we're gonna we're gonna we're this gonna is kind of all the scores. <laughs> um, all of them. All of the scores. So, uh, well, the perfect score would be forty. Uh, you were being judged on your creativity, your originality, your aesthetic design, and your technical skill. Um, you could get a maximum of 10 points in every category. Gotta watch out. Uh, and for the final scores, uh, we have Fred, you and Merle, uh, you scored a solid 14. Uh, is... <laughs> <Son of laughs> boy. 14? Nice. 14. I was trying to get Damn. a little higher. Can you get the category breakdown? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, it was a, a two in creativity, uh, a four in originality, a three in aesthetics, but a five in technical skill. That is a lot of diamonds for survival mode. Uh, so that was uh, quite impressive. So are these all out of ten? They're all out of ten, yes. Okay. Uh, Connor, uh, you ended with a solid 6.5. Um, nice. Which is pretty good. Uh, you, and it's out of, what, seven? Uh, yeah, it's out of seven. <laughs> um, a, the old seven-point scale. Uh, a fox would have been worth an extra five bonus points at the end. Mm, okay. Um, okay. Wow, wow, that would have made the difference. It would have. Wow. Um, so, Connor, a one in creativity, however, a five in originality. Uh, we'd Thank seen you. nothing else like it, so it was... <laughs> I wonder why. Um, aesthetically, unfortunately, it was a, it was a <laughs> point five uh, from both of us. All right. Uh, yeah, what do you all mean? Right. I love his. And technically, and I quote Ashley, uh, she could have made it, so she gave it a zero. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, that's <laughs> cute. That's cute. But, uh, a a, no a 6.5 nonetheless. Um, okay. As for our friend Raiden over in the corner, a solid 18.5. Um, <laughs> where he, winning. he nailed, he is winning currently. <laughs> He's uh, winning. He nailed a six for his creative use of a one block build. Big fan. Um, oh wait, and the eyeballs. Yes, well that I was gonna say for the originality, uh, rating 7.5. Um, Thank you. For the, the right. campsite pun that you pulled wink, off wink. there. Um, the the aesthetics, you know, not not as pleasing as some of the other builds, but you still nailed it. What do you mean? You know, it, it's get all that green. smoke. No, it's a two, my bad. Yeah, it, it is a lot of smoke. You got a good point. Um, and then your <laughs> technical skill uh, was three. You know, getting an ender eye, not easy. You know, so that was. Uh, those, those were your points there. I mean, I just if I had filled it with time. more, would that have been better? Uh, possibly. Possibly that is true. Um, I think I'm going Tyler is not here, but for all of you guys, he scored a 15. Um, yeah, suck it, Tyler. <laughs> he, his highest uh, category was originality with a 6, um, but a 2 for technical skill um, was his lowest. Um, Nico, is that you? Moving <laughs> up, we have actually Magoo. With a thirty point five. Oh. Um very what? very well done. You got a seven point five for your creativity. Uh, we thought it was very creative with the archery range, the water feature, and the tents. Um the originality, uh, you actually got a seven, uh, especially yeah. for the archery range and the design of the tents were very, very nice. Um after that, your aesthetics we said it was an eight. It looks fantastic. It's mm -hmm. cohesive. Mm -hmm. Um, and your technical skill for uh, the use of redstone and some of your other blocks, uh, you got an 8, believe it or not, uh, which oh, nice, brought you nice, to a total nice. of 30.5, which, okay. believe it or not, is 0.5 behind the next person, Nico. <gasps> Nico got a 31. 
Um, yeah. And 31. Nico had eight in creativity. We thought the aesthetic, the spooky yeah. aesthetic, was was amazing. Nico with the cobwebs and the skulls. Your outhouse really did it. Let me tell you. The outhouse yeah. really really was calling actually. I mean, it, it's weird to have your feet in the toilet water <laughs> when you're going, but you know. It's like whatever. a step up from a bidet. Yeah. <laughs> I guess a step down. Um, then Ooh. the originality, Nico, uh, we said it was a six, you know, it was a pretty standard campsite, but your use of all the different blocks um, looked, you know, fantastic. Which brings us to, you scored the only perfect ten in the build competition um, on aesthetics. We thought yours was the prettiest build out of everyone else's that uh, was here. No. Well, yes. it, it did score a ten. It used all of the space to create an environment. Yes. That's so you're going to be pretty. You and said I, you didn't have to use all the space. No, you, you did not have to use all the space. That but is, he used it true. all and made me like Nah, but neutral space, you know, it draws the eye to what is there. Right. That's true. <laughs> and honestly, a very nah, good guys. point. They're saying mine was immersive. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Nico, your technical skill, all still a 7 for your creative use of trapdoors, signs, and other blocks, but not quite the 8 that we gave Magoo for his redstone usage. Sure. Um, however... Uh, Zoe, although she is not here, actually scored a 32. One more <sighs> point than Nico, and 1.5 more points than Magoo in the end. Uh, the hammock, uh, for the hammock. Yeah. yeah, the hammock <laughs> blew Ashley away the second oh. time. Isn't that a really roughly 26 benches. points? More also, than yeah, Zoe actually had the only benches you could right-click and sit on, um, which was very, very cool. I explained my reasoning for that. <laughs> no, no, I uh, totally understandable. <laughs> Um, the, the wide array of berry bushes, flowers, trees, um, and Nico, we did see your hidden message as well as Zoe's hidden message, um, yeah. gave her a, a 30, 32. Could you read Nico's? Because we had a discussion about that. Yeah, it was yo. I it read it. It said yo. Yeah, it changed oh. it. Oh, you changed it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> First time around, it did not say yo. No. So, what did it say? Uh, I tried to make it say boo, but I didn't have enough word, uh, uh, space to uh, um, with that being said, although it was a very close round for the very first build contest, Zoe wins by one point uh, in the end. And of course, the, the criteria breakdown will be up uh, on the screen. But thank you everyone for participating. Uh, I will announce the next week's <laughs> build uh, tomorrow. Uh, very nice to see the wide array of builds that we got. Um, Nick, <laughs> are you sure you double checked Brendan's build? Nick, I'd like you to revise my build area. Oh, I see. Oh, look, he oh, he had the small space and he uh, he made use uh -huh. of the entire area. Wow. That I technical skill bump to a ten, I think. Honestly, Honestly the, I love the quick that. turnaround for that was absolutely impressive. But uh, thank you all for this for this week of the yeah, contest. Yeah, it was great. I'm very. I need excited. to go. I need to go bigger next week. Yeah, and we we look forward bigger. to seeing even more builds next week where Size we have does matter. even more prizes to win. So <laughs> I should have made it big more diamonds. More <laughs> diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> next time, more diamond spread. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you everyone for watching uh, our very first judging of the first uh, build week contest. We are hoping to do more of these uh, every week as mm -hmm. people build more stuff. I had fun. It was very fun to see to see what everyone did, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and rest assured, the investigation will go into oh, Nico for sure. to make sure that he actually deserves second place. Uh, show up next week to see if he he makes it next week. Maybe he has to take a week off. That's true. We'll, we'll see. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Ashley, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. All right, and we'll see you next time. Bye.